Here's a neat sneak peek of something I'm working on that I thrifted. Can you see that? That's how much I paid for it. $3.93. And this is what I'm doing to it. Oh, that's all you give you a quick overview of my outdoor kitchen that has like just been overrun with my crap. So let me see if I can get this thing cleaned up today. Or at least started. Get it ready for summer. Okay, you might not believe it, but I'm making progress. I am making progress. Like I said, you might not believe it, but I really, really am. Okay, guys. I'm not done, but it sure does look a lot better. Got my table cleaned off. Made a little pretty spot. I love those little jars. They're not vintage, but they look vintage. I actually got them at a grocery store. Anyway, I don't know. There's the the name if you want to look them up. But they look old. Anyway, got my table cleaned off. My floor kind of picked up. There's so Clyde pants. Anyway, there's my wood stove. This is stuff I'm going to use in the new house and that I need to do with. I still haven't dusted my stove. But, got to start somewhere. All my cleaning stuff sticking out. I got that switched out up there. It still had a Christmas thing up there. So, there's my extra towels. And I have, you shut my drawers. Put those baskets up there. It's not perfect. Like, that's been that way since I've, since we started putting stuff in here. I just got to keep going. This little stove isn't hooked up yet. I'm not sure if we're going to even get to use it. Anyway, I got to hook up the water so I can wash all my dishes. All this needs to be washed. And uh, that's my hot water heater, so I got to run a hose all the way over here. And because uh, it's outdoor kitchen, this is what you do when you're out when you have an outdoor kitchen. But at least I have hot water out here. I just got to run the hose, but I'm fixing to have to go get ready for work. Well, here's my little shelves. They're not terribly perfect either, but they'll do for now. I got other things I need to take care of first. Anyway, I've got a milk, a new little milk jar to put over there on the back corner. Anyway, there's my spices and stuff. And I did wipe this counter down. I need to clean that three-tier tray up and do something with it. And all my bread machines, there's, you know, I've got more stuff than space, which that's okay. I'll find a place to put it. And then my little trash thingies down here, one has dog food in it and one has all my bread flour in it. And everything stays fine out here. And then we have all the carport area to do, which isn't a carport. That's our picnic spot. So I got all that to clean up too. Maybe Thursday. Tomorrow's PT day for the Hubsters. So we'll have to go get, go get that done. Anyway. Oh, Y'all have a great day. It's been a really pretty day here. And uh, anyway. Oh, there's all my cast iron stuff. And I use it. Oh, my style is less Joanna Gaines and more uh, Ma Ingalls. Or Mrs. Walton. Anyway, love y'all. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you later. Y'all, I made sweet potato bars today. I got the recipe off of uh, Deep South Homestead. Um, Danny and Wanda over there. Now, she does a gluten-free version. These are not gluten-free. I used some flour. And uh, Amanda over at Freedom Acres, she did the same thing. Man, these are just awesome. Just to die for. Anyway, we've almost ate the whole pan. I'm going to have to make some more tomorrow. Just so good. And yep, I'm having some with... Having one more bite with my RC Cola. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. I am going to go get ready for work.